Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to do another video. This time it's going to be part two of the sound deadening project on a budget. We're going to use the same products we did on the front doors. So we're going to go with a quarter sheet of the cue pad behind the speaker. Or probably do two more balls of the butyl tape rolled up behind the side impact bar. And uh, that should be it for, uh, you know, a minimum uh, product. But hopefully achieve some noticeable results. So stick around. All right, so here we have the door panel removed. And I'm kind of surprised that uh, it just has this plastic uh, weather shield. In the front, it had that nice hard plastic cover. Uh, I don't know if you can buy those on eBay, so let me know in the comments if you can if you can buy those because I imagine a lot of sound and heat penetrates this this little barrier. What you might want to do is you can just get some of that uh, foam. Again, without covering the whole door, if you have some uh, foam, you could you could apply it to that uh, just over that that opening. Um, but that's what the rear door looks like. Here's the speaker. Again, it's nice to have those 10 millimeter bolts instead of those rivets or pop. I think they're called pop rivets. Um, just makes uh, access and installation a lot easier. All right, so ready to install this piece right here. It goes, I already, I already cleaned off the backside with that alcohol wipe. And I let this set out in the sun for a couple minutes. So I'm going to do like I did the front doors, just attach this to the panel. And let's see, I'm going to take it as far as I can without touching that sidebar. And then I'm just going to make sure it's nice and flat. And then I'll use my roller. Make sure there's no air bubbles. All right, so that's step one. And step two. Step two is to apply my butyl tape roll. this up squeeze it together and since the side impact bar is pretty short I'll just do one here and one there I also cleaned in between the back edge of the bar and the door skin with that same alcohol pad so we're clean there all right here's the second one all right and that's done so i can re install this speaker
I just I'm just gonna do them just hand tight because that back side of that uh, bolt is just a plastic piece so I don't want to strip that all right and the stock speaker does have a nice foam gasket over there so this should be pretty solid all right so we will uh, you know I have some foam I have some foam I think I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna put a piece of foam and stick it right around here just so it covers it up I think I'm gonna do that because I don't like how that plastic is exposed I know they did that for probably cost-cutting measures but I, I hope I can find a, an actual plastic cover on eBay or Amazon or maybe AliExpress let me know uh, if you have uh, located that product what I uh, what I did this is optional but that little that plastic vapor barrier was bugging me um, so I made a template out of a piece of paper bag and um, if you go by Hobby Lobby or you know some arts and crafts store if you can find some closed cell form uh, closed cell foam what you can do is you can just cut it out again you don't have to go crazy with it but if you just go in between that I think that'll offer something um, you know as far as maybe heat and sound coming in through coming through that that you know that plastic I just can't imagine having a speaker behind a plastic bag and getting good sound quality um, so optional but if you want to you can definitely do that for minimal cost I just wanted to throw that in there
This wraps up our budget sound deadening installation on the front and rear doors. What I'll do next is I'll probably get some no copyright music on a USB stick and then I'll I'll play that in the car. And if you have a uh, stock or modified 2020 up Corolla, you can compare it uh, with your setup. See if this is something that interests you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.